Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate pKa if you know Ka and vice versa. So this problem is very similar to calculating pH from hydronium ion concentration, except now you're calculating pKa from Ka. So the first problem shown here is the Ka for hydrofluoric acid is 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. What is the pKa? The important relationship to know here is that pKa is equal to the negative log of Ka. So all you do is substitute in the value you're given for Ka, which is 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4, and that's going to give you 3.46. So 3.46 is the pKa for hydrofluoric acid. The second problem here is the pKa for acetic acid is 4.74. What is the Ka? You're going to use this same relationship that we use for the other problem, except you're going to take the antilog of pKa. So to do that, you're going to say that Ka is equal to 10 to the negative pKa. So you're given the pKa, so you say 10 to the negative 4.74, and when you do the math there, you get 1.82 times 10 to the negative 5. So that is your Ka value for acetic acid. So why would you want to be able to do this, you know, to be able to convert between Ka and pKa? Well, you might determine uh, the Ka's for several different acids in some kind of experiment where you measure the concentrations of all the different acids, and then you might want to create a table, for example, of pKa values for those acids. As you can see, pKa values are a little less unwieldy, or they're a little smaller, or a little more concise than the Ka values, which often have this exponent of 10 to the negative 5, or 10 to the this is something. So the pKa, pKa values are just a little bit smaller, they look a little bit neater in a table. So like I said, you might determine the Ka from some experiment for several different acids. So basically you know that Ka is equal to, generically for any acid, the hydronium ion concentration multiplied by the conjugate base of that acid divided by the concentration of that acid. And this is because for any acid, when you take that acid HA and you dissolve it in water, you end up with hydronium ions and the conjugate base. So this is generic equation for acid dissociation. And here is the equilibrium expression or equilibrium equation for acid dissociation. So you could do an experiment where you determine all of these concentrations, calculate the Ka, and then you want to make a nice table of pKa values, so you calculate the pKa from the Ka using this. So why do you need to go the other way? Well, oftentimes you might look up a pKa value in a table, and then you want to be able to find the Ka using that pKa, because you might want to use the Ka in this equation to help you find the concentration of one of these three other components involved in the acid-base chemistry that you're interested in. So that's it. That's how you convert from pKa to Ka and Ka to pKa.